Ah, the chat opening from Chad. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Do I play the chat opening? Let's play the chat opening. Hey. Wait, no. Ah, I meant to play the Chad, but now I'm just playing the, the ka. What can I spell? I spell cafe or cage. Cage. Cab. Let's play the cage. Okay, I'm playing the cage. Which is a combination of the English and like a reverse Sicilian time of. Um, yeah, this doesn't look good at all with the, all the pawns on dark squares. I'll take back. And we'll, we'll continue from here. Oh. <laughs> do, I, uh, do I follow that principle and just not castle this game? Yeah, usually it's not a good idea to combine G3 and E3 so early. I'm getting ready to castle, but we'll see. Anticipating this move. If black plays bishop c6, I probably have to castle. But here, okay, let's play b4. And I'll get some nice bishops. Oh, play the beheaded opening. I want to play normal openings today. I was just too enticed to, to be a little bit uh, hipster in this game. I think I actually want to castle queenside and then go for, like, just go for the kingside attack because I have control over all these diagonals. Uh, the rook is actually nicely placed on g1. Idea g5, uh, g4, g5. Thank you, llama attack. Thank you, super robot axe. Okay, I'll bring the knight in. Yeah, the g and h pawn can, uh, and cause some potential issues for black in combination with the minor pieces. Oh, Tom Flynn asking, what kind of laptop do you stream on? I'm actually using a, a desktop setup right now, but the laptop I've been using, at least for my laptop streams, uh, there is a laptop command. It's the Asus Strix. I got it a few weeks ago. Oh, the opponent didn't see my bishop lurking. Yeah, I feel like this knight was like a a zebra walking into the the sight of a lion. Oh, thanks so much. Um, okay, a few questions to answer there. I haven't played the Kostrin in a while. I can check afterwards to see the last time I played it. And actually, I haven't taken too many photos since Dubai. I can go into my Google Photos. But most of the photos I've taken lately are just like random phone photos. I don't think I have anything so worthy of sharing. Um, oh, I'll, I'll share one photo of my, my laptop setup. <laughs> Let's play G4. I don't think I'm going to end up casting this game unless this rook wants to enjoy life. 
the, the plan is to play h5 and uh, attack with what I have. Uh, here's my, my laptop setup, which... It's relatively straightforward. Um, I have a, a light webcam. I've actually been using a different webcam, but uh, laptop, external monitor, microphone. And maybe I'll do some more behind the scenes photos. Capture the green screen as well. Yeah, the light looks bright in the photo, but it's uh, it's relatively soft. It's not so straining on the eyes. Okay, how to do this? Knight of three. And my lighting setup right here, it's just floor lamps. Uh, I don't have any professional lighting right now. Is our laptop a business expense? It is, yeah. I bought it primarily for streaming and for chess base. So it'll be my, basically my work computer. But I still do like photography and video editing on my Mac. So uh, I kind of have to switch between two laptops. Okay, there's h6 here. There's queen b3. Maybe I'll start with rook h1, just preparing h6. Oh, thanks to everyone who subbed who maybe I didn't address. We have Michalis, first time prime sub. Thank you, Dreams of Melody. Yeah, if I remember, I can check after the game. But I can also show how to check. Like Anyone could check my, uh, my opening history very easily now with Lee Chess. Okay, I'm smelling some checkmates. Like th There's just so many pieces potentially ready to attack. Like if this diagonal ever opens, the king goes here, the knight g6 will be mate. And the queen doesn't have too many squares to move to. Oh, thank you, Lockheed. Gifting to the chess bum. Yeah, there's a lot of tempting moves here. I think I'll start with this move. Whoa, it's Tarani SC2, gifting 10. Thanks so much. Not sure if I recognize that name. I really appreciate it. Yeah, Queen B3 is also an option. Would have probably allowed this move. Okay, now I'll take E6 pawn is pinned. Yeah, the cage opening is working out surprisingly well here. But it didn't really have anything to do with opening. It was more kind of the, the middle game build up. Nice gift from my opponent on e5. Thank you, OPBR. Subbing for 11 months. And Feral Manchild, subbing for 10 months. Hello to Torky TV. Whoa. 
Bishop d4. A very temporary wooden shield. Yeah, the wooden shield is now gone. Hello. To OPBR. I love you too, for old man child. Would you consider castling? I can still legally castle both ways. But my opponent might flag or resign before that happens. Also, I might checkmate before that happens. Oh no. Wait, how do I do this? If I check, there's king h7. I think I'll just take the knight. Don't flag. <laughs> Gave a little bit of extra time there. Okay, now I'm unleashing the queen. E. Thank you, Bolkanovsky chess. Okay. I was trying to conceptualize on passant mate. Like in this position, it would take some help, but there's like potential if my opponent just does nothing, I win the pawn. What? Let's say this, this, this. And then let's say g5. This would be a potential on passant mate. Or this is also on passant mate. Oh wow. If we got to this position, I would I wouldn't be sure which on passant checkmate to do. But uh yeah, I've only had on passant mate twice in my life, both times on stream. People can search for it on the YouTube channel. Oh, castling is for betas. Also gifting time. Thanks so much. Oh, and first time chat from Tarani SC2 says, don't chat much because look ma no hands. Ah. Uh, Is ACM or any FIDE online titles worth it? Um, yeah, I've I've never actually looked into trying to achieve like a FIDE online FIDE title. I know they have their own playing platform, but uh, I don't know if they have any any sort of meaning. Um, but maybe like to the the FIDE online community, they do. Could be cool actually to to stream on the FIDE platform someday and see how it compares to Wii Chess and Chess.com. Oh. Oh, I'm drinking uh, Earl Grey with double bergamot. I was going through my tea cupboard. I have like tons of different teas and uh, discovered I had a little bit of Earl Grey left. Hey, I think you test same ignore gifting five. Okay, I wanted to answer the question from earlier and also just show the cool, relatively new feature on the chess that you can uh you can put in any username here. To do it, you would just click and change the username. It should default to your own username. But um then we can see I've had this position 47 times as white. Oh, maybe. I'll consider it. I know we're getting a lot of opening suggestions between Ponziani, Bong Cloud. 
I want to play more serious openings. So bird is, it's on the, I, I could play like a serious bird. But probably not like an ostrich. Those are a little bit goofy. Thank you, Chris Fellows. So I've actually had this position as black 232 times. Once against Gotham Chess. Um, oh, thank you. Uh, well, your Lee Chess rating is still provisional, so I might have to play more to get a more, uh, a more established rating. Oh, so I played the Stafford Gambit 883 times. Oh, it'd be cool to take note of when my 1,000th Stafford Gambit will be. Um, but this position I've had 61 times, 16 of those black plays e6, and seven times I've played the Kashrin Gambit. <laughs> and I've won all seven. I guess it usually happens in like these uh, viewer challenge streams. But I did play it once against a 2244. Ah, uh, yeah, this is, I think, a typical trap. Win back the piece. Get some endgame. Wait, you can't hear TTS. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. I, be, I, I can hear TTS, but people can't. Oh, that may have been weird for viewers. So I'll repeat a few of these. <laughs> Thanks for the game, Eric. Eventually, I'll get a game where I play anywhere close to my Lee Chess rating. Yeah. The baby is born. <laughs> good evening from Italy. Oh, good evening from St. Louis. Aquariola. TTS stands for text to speech. So it's a way of, uh, yeah, whenever you, you sub or you cheer 500 or more bits. Or donate five or more dollars. Eight hundred and eighty-three times. Oh ah. no, my bits! <laughs> All aboard the hype train. Someday I'll reach my ten thousandth Stafford Gambit, and maybe accumulate more bits. Yeah, I guess I had TTS muted from the earlier stream. The other day, because yesterday I was like playing serious chess. Alerts were turned off. Thank you, Alu, Alu Rora. Okay, we're gonna move on. Uh, getting a lot of challenges. I know there's been a lot of like opening requests. Playing one up dog. So looks like a pretty new player to leech us. I gotta work towards a thousand staff for gambits. This this could be eight eighty four. Okay, opponent resisting so far. I'm still offering it though. Still giving the option of knight takes e five. Yeah. So yesterday I had a a long streaming day because there is a. Agenmater Arena, and then the David Hackman Arena. So combined, it was probably three and a half or four hours of streaming. Thank you, Jeremy11. I'm subbing for 18 months. Okay, so no Stafford. We're getting a... A uh, very symmetrical Italian opening. You have d3 and I castle, then it's completely symmetrical. The way I usually like to play this position is to go for a relatively quick h6 and g5 and delay casting kingside. Of course, it depends what white does. Another plan is to do this and this.
I think I'll actually play this move. This position gives me nostalgia because I used to play this same opening for both sides when I was first starting out chess. And uh, this is like the first kind of middle game plan I learned is to pin the knight and then like, double the pawns and checkmate the king. So here, yeah, I'm going to maintain the pin. And the issue for white, g4 is a bit weakening to the king side because white's already castled. On top of that, I might be able to sacrifice like g4, knight takes g4. So a3. a3 is a typical move, but probably is not helpful in dealing with the threats. Thank you, mogul moves only. New sub. So I will say, uh, going back, I think the better move is bishop e3 to try and just discourage knight d4 where white would be ready to take. Another idea is just to play d3 and delay castling. And then if I do this, there's h3, g4, and less to worry about for white. Ah, it's Binac. Ah, shout out to Binac. I was playing this uh, Babel Royale earlier, and I got killed. Yeah, I was trying to guess words too there. Binac, uh, a legend in this Babel Royale game. Okay, so now it's time to take <clears throat> with check. Now it still takes work. White has to take back. And I'm not uh, winning immediately by any means. Considering a weird move, knight d7, just to allow the queen to come in. Queen d7, king h2. Hmm. This might actually be okay for white, weirdly enough. I think I'll just slow play. I'll play c6. Hey, it's Andres. What's up, Andres? Shout out to Andres. Long time no see. Yeah, we have an Andres command. Linking to his YouTube and Chessable, and of course Twitch too. Best coach Andres. Hope you had a good stream. If you're just joining, I'm doing uh, some more chill chess. Playing viewers. Trying to explain things, teach a thing or two. We have a very typical kind of Italian opening. Uh, started very symmetrical. I've damaged the king side a little bit. Okay, now it's a question do I play bishop e3, bishop d4, or bishop b6? Let's play this move. Because in the event that white takes, I take back. Knight e2, I take on f3. If knight a4, I fork. If knight a2, then the knight is kind of sad. On top of that, because my pawn is now on d4 rather than e5, I have a plan of knight d7 to e5. Combined with queen f6, and yeah, this pawn is going to be really hard to defend. RMT asking, do you want challenges from position? 
Uh, yeah, I'm open to that. Yeah, feel free to challenge me from position. Variants are acceptable. Just don't challenge me to correspondence and challenge me ideally five plus two or quicker. Let's see. A lot of pending challenges currently. Yeah, most most people kind of following the criteria. Oh, DM Nimbus, subbing for 11 months. I was saying that uh, it's, it was going to be hard for White to defend the pawn, but White has three defenders. I'll play this move. There's a funny line here. If king h2, I take on d2. And then I take and then fork. Now there might be a, an even funnier line. Like, is there any way to mate? No, nah, let's take on d2. Because then after I take, I fork once, and then when I take on d2, I fork again, kind of. And I'll be, be up a piece in the end. Yeah, sometimes these attacks, they'll end with mate. Sometimes they just end with winning material and then converting in the end game. Hmm. Yeah, this rook is hanging. I could have taken it first, but give white the option whether to save it. We have another game where I can legally castle both ways. But I'm choosing not to. <sighs> because of that one person earlier who said their favorite opening is where you don't castle. At some point, I'm going to have to move my king or one of the rooks. Yeah, now it makes sense to, to go in. Maybe the other rook will develop like this. Play f5 first. Do. Okay, I want to share something kind of funny. Hey, thanks for the content. Oh, hey. Thanks for thanks for subbing, Yoshi Kazilla. Yeah, so in the final position, if I was white, there's one last trick I would try. Um, white could play c3, and then if I take, there's rook e1, and then the thing to realize here is uh, all the pawns are stuck, and the king is also stuck. So, if I move out a check, let's say here, then there's this move. And if I move here, there's this move. Here, then takes. Now, it's, it's still winning for black because my king will go into the corner. And after check, okay, I could take and unstalemate the king. Other thing to mention is uh, King D8 is playable here. And if check takes, so yeah, white can't quite force stalemate. Oh, thank you, 1-Up Dog. Says, thanks for the game. I was so nervous. Hope to give you a better game someday. Yeah, the improvement I would suggest is uh, play D3 before casting. There's even cases, if you look in the master's database, 
in knight c6. Uh, White can delay castling even more and play in the move knight a4, which is very typical. And the benefit of this is White is guaranteeing to win the bishop for the knight. White's getting the bishop here. And then also, let's say takes, takes. White can play the move c3 and prevent the knight from coming in. Um, so this, this idea is less powerful because there's no knight e4. Of course, black has similar ideas, so there, there's a decent amount of theory here, but uh, knight a4 is a, a good move to know. What's the opening with the worst name in your opinion? Um... There's one that comes to mind. I don't know if I want to say it on stream, though. But let me see if I can find it. I'll play the moves. I'll let Lee Chess say the name. The opening with the worst name. It's in the King's Gambit. Uh, it's e5, f4, e f4, knight f3, g5, h4, so it's King's Gambit accepted. Not the Muzio. <laughs> I wonder if anyone has heard of this one. Um, what I'm about to show. H4, G4, Knight G5, H6, Knight F7, King F7. So apparently they call this a Kizaritsky Gambit, Cotter Gambit. But there's another name that's about to pop up. Queen G4. So no games in Masters database. But still 8,500 games in WeChess. Uh, Knight of six. Queen takes f4. I think after this move, young children, close your eyes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how you pronounce this, but apparently they call it the horny defense. Because I think there is a, a person with the last name of, of whatever this is. So, what is I hope that answers your question. Gone without playing chess since you started playing competitively. Oh, longest I've gone without playing a tournament or without just playing at all, even online. Probably like a week or two. I started playing competitively when I was eight. Is this just dead lost? Uh, wait, for who? Do we be lazy? Or do we try and evaluate? And this looks good for black. Because if e5 with a four, there is uh, bishop e5 takes and rook e8. So... Yeah, it's dubious for white. Which means it's a good defense for black, I guess. Wait, what is this? Oh, the pale face attack. <laughs> There's also something, uh, I think f4, f5, d4, d5 is a double duck. Have I had this before? I've never had this before. Yeah, some of these opening names, it's very hard to research like where they came from. Because somehow they got into like the code base, but it's unclear like who came up with from them. From Macusa to Macusa Smile, now I am streaming on hey. MacBook 2. Hey, oh, it's photo chess. Wait, photo chess. I don't know if you saw my photo that I shared just moments ago. I got a new laptop. It's not a Mac. It's a PC. <laughs> I got one of these like cliche gaming laptops. Whoa, photo chess is reading too. Shout out to photo chess. Yeah, photo chess got an M1. How is it? Oh, I want to ask you. I'll, I'll have to message you because I'm curious about how it compares to 
my like my more out of date Mac. But uh I've been happy with a PC. Like it it handles the streaming software better and the fan doesn't make too much noise. And it works with chess base, so I still use my Mac for photo editing and video editing too. So oh, people people with M ones are saying it's nice. Okay, maybe I'll I'll look into it. I'll have another business expense towards the end of this year. Anyway, let's move on. Do you know why Leech S the England Gambit the England Gambit complex? Wait, what? Uh what do we have to play to get that? England Gambit complex? Oh, here we go. Well, maybe because it's very complex. Especially after Queen E7. There's this line. I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, for those just joining, we were just going through some openings with funny names. Uh, we had the double duck. I think the these names are consistent across chess.com as well. We had the pale face. This is a sodium attack. There is... Oh, there's my favorite. The potato. Etc, etc. Anyway, apologies if I'm I'm not answering all the questions in chat. I'm trying to keep up. Wow, 10 months. Time really does fly like a goose. Thanks for all the great content. <laughs> Thank you. Obscure time. Yeah, it's it's a little bit of a travesty. Michas calls us a Mason variation. I think somewhere like you can get it to say London. London, London. It just says Indian. What are the best openings for beginners? I get this question a lot. It's really hard to choose like best openings, but generally you, you want something with white. Choose e4 or d4. Ideally e4 to start out because you develop quicker, you castle quicker. Um, for black, I can recommend, I mean, there's, there's a lot of playable things. There's classical King's Pawn, there's Sicilian, there's French, Scandinavian. But just choose one. Don't try to learn everything. And then black against d4, you can play... There's King's Indian. There's like Queen's Gambit declined. There's England Gambit. But ideally, you, you choose a repertoire where you, you... You play one thing against whatever white's doing. So one thing against e4, one thing against d4. And then one thing for white. All right, let's move on. Random sub playing. Ooh, playing MJZ man. Played three times before. There's a question from someone how I edit my photos. Um, I do have a video on my YouTube channel. It was a, from a while ago, but I share how to edit in Lightroom. Might be able to find it with a just a quick search. I've been getting so many opening requests for for white. I don't think I've been getting too many requests for black. But hopefully some people are are pleased that I'm playing a Stafford. Oh, Fing Duster likes uh, the phrase I used yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday I had a funny moment. I had like an oh no my queen with checkmate. 
And then uh, I had some potatoes just sitting next to me. I gave to Ilya, who was making some soup. MG Z man playing like main, main line. Bishop f4. Yeah, I've been encountering this a lot. Bishop f4 is like an annoying move. I had this yesterday in the Pac-Man arena. I forget what I played. I think I played g5. I'll play g5 again. Oh, Evanism with some info on where the opening names come from. Again, uh, just as a quick kind of tip for people, this is going to be hard to get to like, all the openings suggested today or all the topics suggested. But I played so many openings over the course of being a content creator that if you want like a random opening, you could type in like Taimanov and get uh, get videos where I play the like Taimanov or let's try photo. Let's try Lightroom. Oh yeah, so I, I have a few videos too on like editing photos and making thumbnails and yeah. Anyway. Okay, let's try and uh ooh. Let's try and trade pawns and then checkmate. Okay. I feel like I wasn't paying attention for most of that game. Also, I feel like I was probably losing up until like the final move or two. Have to analyze. MJZ Man says, Oh no. I was impressed. MJZ Man like knows 10 moves deep of opening prep though. Oh, thank you, Wild Hacks. Yeah, I hope you enjoy them. I have some videos on my extra channel too. If you, uh, yeah, if you click the link in the chat, it'll take you to my my third YouTube channel. Where I, I have at least one like photo editing video. Okay, so I should analyze this. First of all, uh, yeah, the one of the moves I wanted to play is knight takes f two, but after king takes f two and then g five, white can counterattack with e five, and if I try and keep the pin, there's this move and. Um, I'd be losing, just be down a ton of material. Yeah, White's just winning here. So Bishop F4. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, G5 is the best move. Okay. Yeah, G5 trying to get through to F2. And yeah, I guess white shouldn't take the bishop. White should play bishop e3 here. Or e5. But it gets messy. And this is a, a point to play like Stafford is to get a position like this where, yeah, white's subjectively better, but it's kind of chaotic. It could be potentially easy to go wrong. I've also seen... So the other thing I've seen is f3, h4, and then bishop f4. I had this in one of my most recent YouTube videos. The one... This one, when my opponent knows the Stafford Gambit. And if, if people want more content on this, uh, in this video, I, I dive into some of the theory. So, yeah, it's really hard for white to defend after pawn digs pawn. Because the threat is this. And white, white can't do any of these moves. 
like all of these moves run into queen f2 mates because either the pawn or knight will support the queen so white has to yeah white has to just allow me to take on f2 win stuff anyway let's move on oh fool dan asking what do i do against casting there oh yeah i showed casting to nemo um yeah casting is just another like refutation that white can play i would fight though i would play this move and then probably go for the quick like g5 h4 or maybe queen g6 h4 would be my plan and there's still still a little bit of potential and then go for this and this if my kingside play doesn't work okay moving on playing gen like Three hey, it's Nathan. Let's go. Welcome back, Nathan. Do I play another Stafford? Let's play like a, a normal opening. I have to get used to playing normal openings for this upcoming tournament in Gibraltar. I'll play... Do I play a Nidorf? I know nothing about the Nidorf. I'll play um, Taimanov. Someone mentioned Taimanov in chat at some point. Actually, I'll play a, a, another opening, knight f6. This can be a very effective opening against players who maybe aren't so familiar with the ins and outs of open Sicilian. I think they call this a pin variation. Now, it is objectively dubious, but if white doesn't know what they're doing, they can get into trouble. Do you ever play knight f3, knight f6 so you can decide to play Petrov if you get scared of Stafford? The thing is, I don't really... Uh, I, I don't specialize in mainline Petrov, so... I've considered learning it, though. Like, to play the Petrov and then slag out my opponent who might be expecting Stafford and then just play mainline Petrov. Could be an interesting approach. Okay, so bishop d3. So uh, there's a few just very typical plans for black in this line. Uh, the main resources are d5, knight c6, and queen c7. There's also queen a5 or queen b6 to consider. But I think I'll start with queen c7. A natural looking move. Hitting the knight. And maybe allow knight b5. But then I can move my queen and go for a6 eventually. But yeah, the point in like the point of playing this is to put white on the defensive very quickly. I'm actually thinking maybe I should play a6. But maybe there's no need. I can play this first. So my last uh how many moves? So starting on move three, like every move is either a capture or a threat. I take the pawn, I attack this pawn, I pin the knight and attack this pawn, I hit this knight, now I'm hitting this knight, trying to get a, a beneficial trade. And still probably getting ready to play d5. Oh, thank you, Vessiran. Oh, Vess Ryan, subbing for the first time. Hello to Isozaki. 
how does Leechas know if you're a sub? I'm using a Chrome extension that uh, kind of connects with Twitch API and Leechas kind of CSS. So if you're a sub, you can do the Leechas command, exclamation point Leechas, and then your Leechas username, and that will connect your accounts. Okay, so Knight B3, getting out the way. Play this move. Salsa says, hi, Eric, I love shawarma. But what type of shawarma? Oh yeah, every time I explain the leeches command, everyone starts doing it. So this is where I enable sub-only mode and then slow mode. And we'll, we'll leave this be for a handful of seconds. Ooh, knight b5, hitting the queen and hitting the bishop. So I'll take and play probably queen b8, though maybe queen b6. Yeah, queen b6 is a bit more active. Yeah, we also have the TTS command to explain like the limits for TTS. So knight five to d4. I'm realizing the position is actually like very fine for white. I was trying to punish white quickly, but um that's yeah, really nothing special for me i'm playing a5 to set up some just simple threat white defends play d5 okay i'll disable sub only mode turn off slow mode or reduce it a little bit Yeah, my opponent's actually like playing decently well. I was, I was trying to be aggressive, but I probably just have to be patient. Figure out what to do with this bishop. There's a plan knight g6 and then get one of the knights to f4 in combination with e5. Liven up the bishop. Get the rooks involved. I'll start with knight g6. Trying to find some peace harmony. Now if I play this, I leave my knight undefended. And then... Can white exploit me? Like knight f5? It's not really a concern. I guess e5 there's knight f3. Hitting this and this. Yeah, I'm thinking about playing this first. It feels a little bit strange, but knights support each other. Hey, thank you, Kika Twee. Stopping for one year. Oh, is Kika Twee a streamer? Well, shout out to Kika Twee. And thank you, Booty Medic. First time Prime sub.
Yeah, this is a situation where I'd love to get a king's side attack. The e5, maybe this, this, this. Within just a few moves, there's potentially four pieces that can target g2. Also, thank you, Booty Medic. Gifting five. Wow. Okay. A counter attack. I'll play queen f6. I think c5 just helps me get in to good position. Booty Medic also gifting to chess boy is great. Okay, so I was threatening this stuff, but okay. Not anymore. But I do have this kind of clever move. Of takes, I take. I'm looking at a funny line here. I'm trying to make it work. I'm looking at takes, takes, bishop, h3. And if king h3, it's mate. The only issue I see is takes, takes, bishop, h3, king, g3. I'm trying to Twitch figure out what's baby. going on Premature. there. You wombo combo happy. Hit him uh... with the funny line. I want to, I just don't know how funny it is. Peace Melody may win games, but Peace Harmony wins championships. Mm. Yeah, a Peace Harmony. <laughs> Wait, what's the difference between Melody and Harmony? I should know. But I don't know if I could like explain it. There's probably like some musical definition, right? Melody is like a tune and harmony is like the overall. Oh, harmony complements melody. Thank you, chat. <laughs> so many musicians in chat, that's right. That's one of my biggest weaknesses in life is understanding music. Because I didn't really play any instruments. Apart from the time I was forced to play the recorder in third grade. Oh no, White's Queen. Opponent was playing a good game up until Queen E2. But now it all goes downhill. Yeah, threatening some force mates. I should have played Knight F4. Although, uh, there's some benefits of Knight H4. Thank you, Logic Fish, a prime sub. Maracas are the ideal starting instrument. What about the triangle? I feel like I could, I could be a decent triangle player. It just requires three lines. Um, yeah, I may have been worse at some point in this game. Oh wow, Queen C7 was a blunder. Why is Queen C7 so bad? I know Knight B5, but... I guess White's just doing really well here, because A3 is coming. Ah, I should have played A6 first? Or Knight C6? Yeah, I guess Bishop D3 is playable. 
Uh, knight c6 to prevent e5. Yeah, so the so-called refutation of this line is to play e5 first. And then if knight d5, I believe just bishop d2. And white is considered to be clearly better here. What do you think of the four knight Sicilian? Well, four knight Sicilian is like this, right? Or is it this? Ah, four knights with e6. Yeah, because I was going to say this position, it could go into like dragon or classical or Sveshnikov. With e6, I think this generally will transpose, at least at top level play, this will go into Sveshnikov. If black plays e6, then it's a direct transposition. Um... But there's also the option of bishop to b4. Bishop b4 here? Bishop b4 here. And then a3. It's playable. Yeah, I guess it depends what black wants to go for. Anyway, okay, got a new opening in. Nice uh, experiments once in a while. Oh, we have a poll going. How many years have you been playing chess? Okay, new game. Playing Rokusho Kam. Black again. What to play? What to play? I want to play a new opening. I know what I'm going to play. I'm going to play an opening I've never played before. Assuming, oh, white's. <laughs> White doesn't play e5. There's a variation called the Brooklyn variation e5, knight g8. Well, knight c3. Okay, I'll play d5. This I've played a, a few times before. Thank you, legendary gray monkey. Okay, so we're, we're going into a funny line. Now, unfortunately, we're not going into the line where we all get new queens. Um, because if I take, then white takes and defends a rook through x-ray vision. So I have to take, I could take this way or I could, could take this way. I should probably take with check first. And now it's equal material. White's missing both center pawns. I'm missing D and G pawns. Oh, Vindictive says you can try knight takes e4 against knight c3. Reverse Irish gambit. Ah, uh, that looks really dubious. <laughs> I've never even thought of that. Maybe worth a try someday. Okay. If I develop, there's queen f3 hitting this and this. I think I'll play queen d5. I know there's a so-called rule, don't bring your queen out early. But it's hard for white to exploit the queen. And now I'm preventing the bishop from developing, because bishop has to babysit the g2 pawn. You know a lot of Two Knights Tango. Yeah, I've been playing that more often recently. It's a nice pet opening. But so far, all my games with black, my opponents are playing e4.
Okay, so queen f3, I think, is very natural. I think I'll play c6. Allowing a queen trade. But trying to just strengthen my pawn structure. Ooh, Evanism with interesting words. Before I get to that, I'm looking at the poll. So 15% of viewers, or at least 15% of people who voted in the poll, have been playing for less than one year. 41% between one and two years, or one to three years probably. 25% more than 10 years. Wow. Sometimes it can be hard to account for those who maybe got into it as a kid, took a break. I see the comment from Galavant. Played a bit as a kid. I got into it for real about a year ago when YouTube recommended me an Eric video. Yeah, thanks to the YouTube algorithm. Oh, and Portman Duke has been addicted to my YouTube channel for a while and finally tuning in on Twitch. Well, good to have you here. Just in time for... Maybe some kind of checkmate. It still takes work. I wanted to play bishop a2, but then there's king c2. So the goal is to bring the knight in. Either to b3 or maybe to a4. Oh, so the, the comment from Evanism says... Here's a list of Lee Chess's weird opening names. Oh, the King Guru defense I'm aware of. There's a fried fox too. What is this? The Snagglepuss. Lion Claw, Whale, Giraffe, Elephant. The Goblin. What is a Goblin? Also, where's my... Okay, here's my fork. This will be nice. Wait, now I want to look up the goblin opening. Also, the mad dog. Can dogs actually be mad? Also, where's my mate? I mean, I could take the queen, but... Well, actually, taking the queen and then there's about five. No mercy. Yeah, if I played bishop a2, there is queen d3 defending, knight b3, king c2. I didn't quite see it. But now I'm threatening maiden 1. Uh, I could queenside castle. But I think I'll start with queen c2. And then save the rook. Right, mad dog is actually a great opening. Played by McCall Tall. Oh, played against the Pirates. Okay, I have a lot to learn now. That's the crazy thing about chess. Like, I've been playing for so long, and there's still there so many things I haven't heard of. Jim who logged on to Twitch on a whim. He saw Eric Rose hey, and play hey, chess Jim and sir. never realized his success. He watched the content and chose at the pub to subscribe and sub 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 coder. Quack is crack. 
Oh, that was very poetic. Thanks for that. <laughs> okay. Trying to make progress here. White has like a weird type of defense around the king. Like B4. Going for B4. Okay. I'm not queenside castling with mates. But queenside castling with check. King moves here, it's made in one. King moves here, it's probably like made in two or three. Ooh, king moves there. Where's my mate? So here, 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 mate. And that's relatively forced. Okay. Thanks for the game, Rokasho Kam. Um Yeah, I was I wanted to play the Brooklyn defense, which is E five and then knight G eight. It it's been played oh Carlson played it actually. Against Fresine. Mami Dior, I've also played it. It's not a great opening, but it's interesting. Because you, you make the argument that this pawn is overextended and you go for d6. Okay, let's figure out what these openings are. Goblin chess. I googled goblin chess and I just got like goblin chess sets. What is this? It's a goblin chess set. Goblin opening? Smile. Wait, what? Wow. The goblin. Okay, so the goblin is like a Halloween. Knight of three, knight c6, and then c4. And then if knight of six, we take on e5. The goblin. I've never seen this before. And if takes, I zoom d4. And we have three pawns. So it's it's like a Halloween, but the pawn's on c4 rather than the knight being on, on c3. How many people have played the goblin? Wow, this is not a very well-explored opening. It doesn't score well for white either. <laughs> but it looks cool, like knight c6 and then... I would be inclined to push some pawns. Like d5, knight e5, f4, knight g6, e5. Yeah, look at this goblin. It's such a cool like face. What does Stockfish think? Stockfish has probably mean things to say. Yeah. Ah, bishop e4. Bishop b4, bishop d2. Takes, takes. And this looks playable. Uh, engine just refutes everything. Sockfish is no fun. Maybe I'll play the goblin someday, though. Okay, 
What about the mad dog? Mad dog chess. Oh, there's a blog post from Illingworth. Oh, this dog looks kind of mad. Also, hello, Lala Lani. I'm a little bit confused. Wait, is a mad dog? Because. Wait a minute. <laughs> I want to get Lee Chess to say the mad dog. Is it this one? Kolmov system. Because there's this crazy line. Cure takes, 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 takes. No. And what if, what if D6? Oh, is bishop c4 first? I'm not sure about the move order here. Oh, maybe it's against a modern. Let's try one more time. This is what I played against Hikaru. The other day on the chess. This, this. And then e5. But it doesn't look like the chess is calling it the mad dog. In short, I don't think the mad dog is the best line in some modern. <laughs> yeah, there's the up dog. Everyone knows what updog is, right? Nightbot knows. <laughs> okay, let's move on. I'm realizing I'm getting lag again because so many people are challenging me. So I'm going to disable challenges just so the lag isn't too bad. But everyone who's challenged me so far, your challenge will still exist. I'll keep playing people, playing Phantom XY. Good luck to my opponent. Oh, I wanted to play a goblin. What do I play against a French? I'll play um, debating between two knights. Oh, we have Sicilian. Will my opponent play the pin variation? Let's find out. Okay, so this is a very common position, Sicilian. Knight c6 is not considered a great move because d5 and there are some potential traps here, which wondering black might fall into. This is the one thing <clears throat> playing this, this move order against French is I do give the option of black transposing. Okay, so knight b4. I was going to say if knight c e7, I play d6 and queen e2 and win material. Uh, knight b4. Oh, man. And this looks like it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll start with a3. 
are kicking the light back. I kind of just want to take and play d6. I could also play d6 immediately. Although d6 is queen f6. Oh, okay. I know what to do. I'll play d6. So I'm threatening the very deadly queen e2. And black would be forced to block with something on e7. And meanwhile, it's not easy for black to do much about it. Now, queen f6, I, I thought it does look decent at first. But... Uh, it still walks into queen e2, king d8, and then bishop g5. Okay. Oh. That move I forgot about. I forgot the queen could block on e6. Oh, I'm not winning anything. It's still probably a good, good position, though. There's about four. Because <laughs> I maintain the pawn, and I'll have some ideas of doing things with my knight. Okay, so now it's a question. How do I prevent black from castling? Because these are the ideal next two moves for black. Uh, one option is to take, take, bishop e5, bishop e7, take, take, knight d5, hitting the bishop and threatening knight c7. The problem is bishop d8. I'm not sure if that leads to anything. Another idea is just a queenside castle. Bishop g7, then I take, take, rook e1. Worst king f8. And then something like rookie seven. It looks good. Yeah, let's start with this. Oh, Mr. Snark's redeemed run and add. Oh, also, at the end of my last stream, I think it was yesterday's stream, someone redeemed run an ad and I missed it. I ended the stream. So I'm due for two ads. But I'll run one between games. But after this game. Oh, so Black just doesn't take the bishop. Yeah, well, that's kind of kind. Let's show no mercy now. This is 5 0, so I should uh, be slightly cognizant of time. How do you watch an ad if you're a sub? Uh, do you want to watch an ad? <laughs> Guess you could open the tab in a new browser. Or, uh,. Yeah, like open. But I'm not sure if uh, like how it works with Twitch. Oh, there's a funny line. Never mind. I was thinking rook here and then rook e7. Okay, I'll take and play rook e7. I'm running lemon, redeeming sip tea. Yeah, it's funny that if you're redeeming an ad and you want to watch an ad, but if you're a sub, uh, 
And it's supposed to be one of the perks of being a sub. Yeah, let's take stuff. I take this, there's rook a7. Rook d5, okay. Yeah, slowly but surely. I think you, old Walter. Yeah, ads is it's one of the, I guess, kind of standard revenue streams. Um, so it does help the channel when I run ads. But usually, I I try and have a reason to. <laughs> When people beg so much, I I feel less bad. I'm playing b3. Defending the pawn so I can safely move the knight. You control when to show ads. I don't have full control, but I have some control. I'm pretty sure I'll have full control of checkmating this king. Yeah, the first step is to connect all the things. Next step is to checkmate on f7. I missed a fork. I'm going for a mate. Did I really miss a fork? I did miss a fork. But I th think... The game is going to end quicker. We'll see if Black finds a defense. I played g3f4 to orchestrate the, the bind around the king, because now I'm controlling all these squares. Though I probably should have played knight f7. I wonder what Stockfish says. Knight of seven was probably best. But by how much? Yeah, up 17 pawns. Okay, it's ad time. Okay, here we go. <sighs> Almost had to sneeze. Um, okay, we're running, I'll run an ad. Sometimes it's like a poll thing where we need to like get people to vote, but sometimes it's just, it's unclear. <laughs> oh, thank you. We, we rampage through Tokyo You're following me this minute. I usually don't shout out followers, but yeah, I appreciate the new followers. For those like very new to Twitch, there is a follow button you can follow to get notified when I go live. Although if you're very new to Twitch, you're probably seeing the ad right now. Sorry about that. <laughs> Unless you're not seeing the ad. Yeah, it doesn't always show for everyone. I think it depends how like how large of a supply Twitch has of ads. Oh, Pawn Masaur is getting an Adobe Creative Cloud ad. I wonder what happens if you like, if you sub while watching an ad, does it immediately go away or you have to finish watching the ad? Also, thank you, Yasha, subbing for two months.
and Blazing Saber. Van Geet. Van Geet is E3, right? Oh, this is Van Krugis. What's Van Geet? Do I even want to know? Reverse Nimzo. Oh, Van Geet is Knight C3. Ah, Knight C3. Yeah, this could transpose into like Vienna or Italian. Not Italian. Um, Vienna or, or Grand Prix. Hey, thank you, Jimberwood. Oh, so Diva tried that tried to test on another channel but couldn't find the sub button while watching the ad. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, let's uh let's move on. I still want to play a goblin. Playing its pants o'clock. Okay, I'm I'm going for the goblin. The goblins is new, at least new for me. Funny named, very dubious but interesting type of opening. It requires black to play the e5. It also requires black to like be here. Maybe it's pants o'clock is still watching the ad. Thank you, Andrew FFF. Yeah, hello to Jimberwood. Appreciate the sub gifting. Yeah, I think I'll abort. That's weird. <clears throat> this is a weird Lee chess bug. When I hover over the name, it shows the time ticking here, but the time's not ticking. If I hover over again, then it, it restarts. It can be hard to find bugs in Lee Chess, but I'm always proud when I find one. Okay, let's abort and let's play new random sub playing Matt R 2003. Ah, no goblin. What do I play against Carol Khan? I'll play a, a Panov attack, how about? I used to play the Panov a lot. I went through different stages of playing the Panov. Because there's the Accelerate Panov, which is CD5. Which I played more recently. The D4 is also a move, which I played for a while when I was younger. And I'll go into the main line. Uh, so G6, yeah, we're going into a somewhat topical theory. There's a funny move coming up. Yeah, so in this position, bishop to C4 is theory. I don't take the knight. I want to provoke E6. Or that move. Then I take. And then take. Yeah, this is all theory. I know Aronian had this position at some point. I'm trying to remember the main line. I think main line is bishop g5, queen d5, and maybe castling? I'll play bishop g5. I don't remember so much theory beyond this, so... Seems like my opponent is more booked oh, up. I was literally studying this line. Oh really? Oh no way. For white or for black? <laughs> I, so I had this position once in a tournament game. I played queen c2. Or I castled and then played queen c2. Wait, maybe I was supposed to castle first. Yeah, let's castle here.
Yeah, this was years ago. Yeah, this was like about 10 years ago that I I was studying this line. Oh, it's emote only chat time. Redeemed from Sir Sadharshnan. Sadharshan V. Also, thank you, Lord Striker, GTR, and Super Scrub. Okay, I'm glad my opponent started thinking there. No more blitzing out theory. I'm thinking rook fc1. Eric makes my life so hard. Choosing between sleep and Eric's stream, and sleep oh, always no. loses. Oh, quack, no, quack, quack, sleep. quack, hello, Eric. Hello, Shwarma. Did you just get here? Or have you been lurking? There is someone earlier who, who donated saying, I love Shwarma. And I asked them what type of Shwarma. I'm not sure if they responded. So thank you, Sir DVD. Gifting five. So the idea of rook fc1 is to play rook c5 and target the queen. I actually want double pawns, because then I'll, I'll have the two half open vials against black's two isolated pawns. Okay, got my wish. But now what? Yeah, then I would like to be here. I'm thinking Bishop E3. Looks passive, but... I just got here. I can't Ooh. type in chat. It's weird. It was a 17-hour workday today, Frown. I wish it was a shorter day at work. Oh. Yeah, the reason why you can't type in chat is it's emote-only mode. So you can either share emotes, or I guess if you want to say words, you can cheer. <laughs> Wait, does it work? Like, can you cheer... Like, let's say five bits to say something. Or maybe not. I don't know. Ooh, free pawn. But you can redeem channel points, though. Hello to King of Ratatas. Okay. Yeah, so I play Bishop E3 to over defend the pawn so I can mobilize a knight. Knight would be much happier to like, penetrate the dark squares. Mm. Might as well take. I have two, two passers ready to push. Oh, it's 50 minimum. Yeah. I remember changing that because had some issues with like spam. <laughs> with someone spamming like one bit too much. Thank you, DK Salt. New Prime Sub. Yeah, we'll turn off emote only mode after this game. However long this may last. I think I'll prevent. I'm just realizing if I play this, there's takes, takes, takes. And if I check. Who on earth would ever spam your TTS looks for Toggy? Wow, wow, oh, no. wow, 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 I'll allow you one of those every like half hour, but no more. <laughs> Let's play this move. You don't know what to do here. 
Might as well stay focused on the game. And this is yeah. why we can't have nice things. Oh. Okay. Got my passers. Black has a bishop hair. Never mind. Okay, I got a nice rook pair. Maybe I should have played b5 sooner, but yeah, life is pretty good here. Life is getting better too. No mercy. Yeah, so with Bishop d4, I'm threatening maiden 1. Not easy to stop. Okay, good game, Matt R. Yeah, we went into... Like some main line theory. This is a pretty well known variation. There's probably like several hundred top level games here. Oh, several thousand. So 3,600 games. Um, yeah, Bishop Z4. It's a useful move to know. Ah, Nihil Billy redeeming run and add. Oh, I feel bad. But okay, I'll run an ad. I wish I could share like how much this, how, like how much revenue it generates. But Twitch won't tell me for another few days. Okay. The good thing about running ads though, it, it does disable pre-roll ads for new viewers that come in for the next like half hour. Anyway, um, yeah, so if you're just joining, I am just kind of chilling, playing viewers, mainly subs, trying to play a variety of openings, trying to learn something from every game I play. Um, yeah, I had some memory that uh, Ironian played this as white. Ironian Galfond. 2013. I wonder if my game is searchable. Whoa, it's Sir DVD gifting 10. Thank you, Sir DVD. One of the top gifters this month. Oh, Sir Diva D. Okay, so out of the 10 people Sir Diva D gifted, uh, how many of those people had the ad stop? That just stopped for everyone, I think. But <laughs> that was some experimental test, I guess. Oh, I'm supposed to castle here. Yeah, I got confused and played Bishop G5 too soon, which runs into Queen A5. Yeah, so casting bishop g7, and then bishop g5 is the main line. There's another game. Oh, Aronian had a game, I think, with e6. And then b takes e3. Maybe this is this game. Remember, it was like really instructive game. So he prevented black from casting, and then it was so nice. Like he just built up the center, got the rooks into play. D five was a cool idea, opening the C file. Sometimes games like this will inspire you to play a a, a certain opening. Yeah, the pawn in D seven is just a monster.
How does this work? Context night? White's down a piece. I assume takes back in rookie seven. Wow. Wait. So it shows a game ending here, but Quick question. maybe this happened takes takes with D6. What do the pieces look like in your head? Is oh. it Lee Chess design or acute pieces? Um yeah, it's usually whatever board I've seen like most recently. So it's probably closer to Lee Chess. Although it's a little bit strange I to am describe. To challenge you and it says you are not accepting challenges. Oh, that's because I was having lag issues. I can re-enable challenges for a moment. Um, if I remember how. <laughs> yeah, I'll re-enable. Oh, goodbye to one updog. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, refill my tea. I'm out of tea, sadly. So this calls for a break. Uh, thanks to those who are being here. Oh, and thank you, yeah, finally, BBB. Um, yeah, it's, it's closer to a two-dimensional board. Although sometimes when I play blindfold, I don't really pay attention to like the color of the board or... The style of the pieces is just, I, I envision. Yeah, it's, it's really hard to explain. Like, it's less important, like, the style of the night is just, I know there's a night we in E5, etc. Oh. Yeah, it might be. It might be down for a blindfold simul or some blindfold challenges. But it's time for tea first. Blindfold's here, so I'll be ready. In the meantime, we'll watch a game. And I'll be back momentarily.
OK. Whoa. Sir DVD gifting 50 subs. Thanks so much. That's 87 gifted subs this month. Really appreciate that. That's so kind. I hope the music isn't too loud. We'll just watch the finish of this game. Black is winning? But oh, white is fighting. Oh, Shwarma and Sir DVD want to blindfold Simon. Okay. I can do that. Okay. Sound, standard, or actually speech. Speech synthesis ready. Okay. It's blindfold simul time. So I'm actually going to turn off challenges again. But how many people should I blindfold simul? Also, let me pour my tea out of my classic Egyptian licorice. And simul a thousand people blindfolded. Well, he just caps it at a hundred. Should I just break the world record tonight? <laughs> What's the world record? 64? Or is it 48? Or 50? I have to ask Timor. My record is three. Although I've never... I've only done two three-person blindfold simuls. And both simuls I scored two out of three. So I've never scored a perfect three out of three blindfold simul. So I think I'll try that tonight. How about... Wait, let's look up this uh, Timor. Timor blindfold simul world record. Oh, 48 games. Recognized by Guinness. Oh, that was in 2017. Ah, I remember 2017 in August. That was a, the time of the eclipse. And Timor did some like special event during the solar eclipse because the path of totality was in the US like very close to St. Louis anyway okay I'll try three <laughs> um, and I'll, I'll accept uh, yeah Sir DVD and Sharma get all max seats and then we'll have one more one more slot for a random person so let's post a new simul. And bear with me one moment here. Okay, so initial clock time, 20 minutes. Actually, it will be 10 minutes, but I get 20 minutes. So I get 10 extra minutes. I'll be white every game. Increment will be 20 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. And then this looks good. Blindfold. I'm on. And I'll share the link. People can use a uh, simul command once I make it. Okay. I'll change the stream title. So all you have to do is click the link and then join and then get lucky. Uh, be accepted. Okay. Three person blindfold simul chess.org Yeah, sorry I'm a little bit behind in chat. It takes a bit for the 
gifted subs to catch up. Welcome back to Singapore Backgammon. Ross the boss is volunteering. <laughs> okay. A lot of people here. So DVD and Sharma. Okay. Wait, what are the ratings? Oh, nice. Okay. So I'll accept one more random player. Yeah, everyone's at mercy of this uh, except random Canada button. <laughs> Thank you, AO, IRL. Thank you, Nyatiga. Rasa Boss says, think about it. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Doesn't show how many players have like tried to join. But it's a lot. <laughs> Wait, what happens if I like do? Man, it takes so long to scroll. Control C. Eric, Sir Devada, and I want to do the blindfold simultan. <laughs> My tongue. I just pasted all the names into a Google spreadsheet. Good morning from Singapore. Nice to see you. 150. Wonder if it caps at 150. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> Good morning, Singapore backgammon. Appreciate that, Rasta boss. Okay, who's it gonna be? It's Frenzy Lee. Ooh, from China. So we have China, no country, no country. Okay. Think about it. Do I do one more? Adding one more person to like a normal simul isn't a big deal. But adding one more person to a blindfold simul, that's like 60 more, 64 more squares to remember. So... I think I'm gonna hold off. But if I if I score three out of three, then the next blindfold signal I do will be four players. Oh, we have prediction too. Maybe I'll, I'll let the prediction run through before I actually start. So the question is, will I win all three games? Wow, more points bet on yes. Even though I've never done it before. I'm kind of tired now. It's late. I don't want people to have like high expectations of me. <laughs> right, what if I just accept all the, the people? Break the world record. Oh, thank you, XQC is offline with a sub. And Capede 14 and Computer Connor. Mont Resser has 100,000 channel points. Oh, wow. That, that allows you to redeem, like, how many ads? Seven? Six or seven ads. Also redeem a lot of sip tea. You think you're the real Andrew show. If people keep subbing and cheering, I can't start. But I'm, I'm still letting the prediction run. Don't forget to do QH8 instead of QH7. Yeah, I kind of remember I that. The help. Uh, I don't know about that, though. Yeah, I, I type slipped the last time against Sharma. It was not 
not the most desirable. Um, wait, how do I show the thing? You all, I just wanted to show this. It's really close. It's split almost 50, 50. There's still a lot of time left. Turn off voice donations. I think they'll keep them on. Usually, like, people just, people don't really offer hints. They just try and distract me, which makes it more, more interesting sometimes. So my plan, I will say, whenever I do, uh, I've only done two of these so far, but when I've done these, I'm white in all three games. So the way I differentiate is E4 in one game, D4, and C4. So I, I play a different opening every game. And I use a couple of things. I use a Lee Chess speech setting. Speech synthesis ready. I use this extension, which for some reason, it's a little bit easier than, uh, than Lee Chess. Well, I'll get a couple of different accents. And then I'm also using, let me make sure my preferences are set. We do game behavior. And then input moves with keyboard is set to yes. I will be typing. Yeah, we can customize like the, the names of the pieces. I don't think I want to play around with this too much, but we do have sippity, 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 hoppity, hoppity, etc. The castling. Uh, the other thing I'll do, which... Um, I didn't do last time, but I think it would be nice is have the chat box open. Like have the chat overlay on stream. Oops. Ah. Chat box. No. Ah. I'm struggling here. There we go. So I'll just have the chat box over my head. Let me fix this layout again. B5. B5. So here we can see the extension is working. A so takes B6. I do ask for people to behave Bishop themselves in chat. Queen um, A3. You can say hi to YouTube. And I think I'll I'll get started. I am in, I'm enabling chat because I think it's like for the eventual, if this does end up going on YouTube, um, actually, if this goes on YouTube, let me know in the YouTube comments, if you prefer the chat over my head, or if you prefer just to have things a bit more peaceful, I'd be curious to know. I know everyone has their own preferences. And there is a prediction. Do we get, we got almost a million channel points. Uh, people guessing whether or not I would win all three games. Okay. Um, let's start. Blindfold goes on. Game start. So this is shawarma. I usually look for the first move of every game. Just to make sure things are working properly. So I have to press enter. Um, actually enable the type thing so i'll play um the e4 against shawarma e4 game start um for diva d i'll play d4 well, that's easy to remember d4 against for diva d and why did that not work d4 there we go game start and i assume this one is uh the frenzy lee yeah frenzy lee i'll play c4 C4, D5, D5. So I okay, and then this is a, one of the issues is I don't know which game D5 was played. I assume it's a for DVD game. D4, D5. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to like go back and sometimes see the previous move. Um, so DVD, I'll play. I'll stick with London Bishop, Bishop F4. F4. E6, E6. 
Shawarma. C4. E6. Oh, E6. So this friends really playing E6. I'll play um oh I know what to play. E4. E4. E5. E5. E4. E5. Okay, so Shawarma playing normal opening. I'll play knight f3. Knight f3. Hey, f5. thanks for buying Bishop merch. F5. Good luck, Eric. Bishop f4. Bishop f5. So bishop f5. Um, so London copycat. I just released a video on YouTube. Uh, it was a Dubai recap video. I've only played something similar. Play e3. E3. Knight c6. Knight c6. Knight f3. Knight c6. So this is shawarma. We'll go into a Ponziani. How about c3 e6 e6 e6. This is a London game. I'll play knight bd2. Why can't I play knight bd2? E e6 e3 e6. E6. Why is this not working? E3. Bishop F5. E3. E6. E6. Knight BD2. Knight D2. Knight D2. Oh, knight I don't have a knight on F3 knight yet. F6. I think knight BD2 and I don't have a knight on F3. C3. Knight okay, F6. so shawarma, this is Ponziani. I'll play D4. 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 Knight F6. D4. D4. Okay, so I think D5. everyone's thinking at this D5. point. D5 is a frenzy Lee game. I will play C D5. C takes D5. Bishop D6. Bishop D6. Bishop D6 is a, a London game. I'll play. I'll play bishop g3. Bishop g3. D6. D6. Oh, shawarma playing d6. D6. D4. D6. I'll play h3. H3. Okay. So, staying within opening theory for the most part, we have one Ponziani, one London, and one Orthoschnapp about to be. Knight f6. Wait, what? Bishop g3. Knight f6. Oh, knight f6 was played. Okay. I didn't realize it was my move. I'll play, uh, I'll play bishop d3. Bishop d3. I'm kind of following the, uh, the video I just posted on YouTube. This Dubai recap. Very similar type of position. I also had this other day against Karyakin, this symmetrical G6. London. h3. It's not seeing the moves. G6, H3, G6. G6. Oh, G6. Uh, I'll play... So this is a... a Ponziani game. I'll play Bishop E3. Bishop E3. Bishop takes D3. Bishop takes D3. C, D3. C takes D3. Knight F6. Knight F6. Wait, knight f6. Is this a shawarma game? C takes d5. Oh no, knight this f6. is a frenzy lee game. Wait, what? C takes d5, knight f6. C takes d5, knight f6. I don't think I've ever encountered this. So it's like a, a French... I'm trying to internalize what's happening here. Knight 6 is an interesting move, but I think I'll just take on e6. D takes e6. Knight c6. Knight c6. A London game? C Knight c6. Knight c6, so I'll play knight f. My black never played c5. We'll play knight f3. Do I already have, do I already have my knight f3? Castling? Wait. Knight f3. Why am I confused? C takes d3. Knight c6. 
Knight C6. Knight C6. Why am I so confused here? I can't play Knight F3. Why can't I play? C takes D3. Knight C6. I'm really confused. Am I mistyping? You are mixing up games. You don't have a knight at all. Mixing up games? C takes D3. Bishop takes D3. Bishop no, D3. I'm not. Knight F6. Knight F6. Bishop G3. Bishop D6. Knight D2. No, this is a London game. Knight C6. Knight C6. I have a knight. Knight C6. Where's my knight? knight? C6. Can I play knight E2? Knight E2. Why can I play knight E2 but not knight F3? Was I mistyping? Bishop E3. Knight takes E4. Bishop. Now I'm thrown off in the other game. Bishop E3. Knight takes E4. Oh no, my pawn. Okay, Sharma just fell for an opening trap. D5. Bishop takes E6. Bishop takes E6. Okay, so I'm doing well in this game at least. Up a pawn. Uh, my castle? No, I have a bishop. Wait, no, I really can't castle. I have to develop first. Uh, let's play knight c3. Knight c3. Sippity, 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 t. Short castle. Okay, that's a London game, I assume. All castle as well. Sippity, 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 t. Sippity, 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 t. Short castle. Wait, is another game? Sippity, 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 t. Wait. Knight e7. Knight e7. D5. Oh, D5 and E7. Okay. Knight E7. So this is a Sharma game again. Uh, here's where I play Queen A4. Queen A4 check. Check. Queen A4 check. Queen A4 check. I'll be check. winning the Knight on E4. A very nice opening trap. Okay, I think everyone's thinking again, which is good. I need a, a cool down. Yeah, so I'll win the Knight. Um, I'm really confused why I couldn't play knight f3 in A that six. previous position. A six. What game is this? Knight c3. A6. Oh, this is a frenzy Lee game. Um, might as well play d4. 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 Bishop b4. Bishop b4, this is... D4. Bishop b4. Oh, it's still the same game. So bishop b4... Uh, it's very, very tempting to play queen a4 check. I think I'll do. Queen a4 check. Hitting the bishop. Bishop d7. Bishop d7. Okay, this is a shawarma game, I assume. Bishop d7, I'll take on e4. Queen takes e4. Queen takes e4. Queen takes e4. Bishop g7. So bishop g7 is still the same game, right? Queen takes bishop g7. Bishop g7. Um, so I'm up a piece. Pawns on c3, d5, knight on f3. I have a pawn on h3. F5 might be coming. Okay, so I'll develop the bishop to c4. Bishop c4. Knight c6. Knight c6. Knight c6 is a frenzy lead game, and I think here's where I'll play d5. d5. Knight e7. Knight e7. Knight e7 is probably the London game. Sippity, sippity. Knight e7. Yeah, this is the London game. So we both castled. Opponent plays knight e7, which... 
Yeah, freeze a knight. Bishop's on d6. My knight's on e2 for some reason. Thanks for subbing, by the way. I think I'll play knight c3. Wait. I have a, I think I have a knight on c3, though. Wait, I'm so confused. Eric, you couldn't put your knight on f3 because you already had a knight on d2, so you needed to annotate which knight was going ah. to f3. That's why. That's why. Okay. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> I couldn't figure it out. I guess I forgot my knight was on d2. I was like, I just hung a pawn, like d3's been hanging. Or no, it hasn't been hanging. We traded bishops. I'm already seeing like ghosts and phantoms and goblins. So knight's on e7. Okay, so black has knights on e7, f6. There's one d6. Okay. Okay, I'm going to play e4 here. e4. Bishop takes d5. Bishop takes d5. Okay, so bishop d5, this is a frenzy lead game. I will take back ed5. E takes d5. Sippity, 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 <sighs> sippity, 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 t. That's a strong Short game, castle. right? Bishop c4. Bishop c4, okay. Sippity, 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 t. Yeah, so here... I think I'll go for some more aggressive plan. Maybe queen e2 first. Just be safe. Queen e2? Oh no, my bishop's on e3. Oh, queen c2 then, probably. Queen c2. Queen c2. There we go. Knight takes d5. Knight takes d5. Knight takes d5. So this is a frenzy lead game again. So I just want a piece. Uh, there is a trade. I have a knight on c3. I don't think I can castle yet. Knight on c3 is pinned. I'll play bishop to d2. Bishop d2. D takes e4. D takes e4. D takes e4. Let's uh, play d e4. D takes e4. Bishop f5. Bishop f5. Bishop f5. Queen c2, bishop f5. Okay, so queen's attacked. Um, I think I'll play queen d2. Queen d2, queen d2. Queen d2. Okay, finally. It's everyone's move. I can take another sip of tea. So I'm liking the current position in the shawarma game. Um, up a piece. It still a6. takes a lot of work to win, though. Queen d2, a6. So a6, maybe going for b5. Uh, knights on e7, bishop on g7, bishop on f5. So maybe I go for g4. The other idea is to just play bishop h6. Bishop h6. Bishop h6. Bishop takes g3. Bishop takes g3. Ah, this is a London game. Hg. I can also take with knight. But I have to keep the d pawn defended. Hg3. H takes g3. Sippity, 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 t. Oh, so many sippities. 
Is this still a frenzy thing? Bishop D2. Yeah. Um, so sippity, 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 tea. Counting this isn't so simple. Maybe I play uh Bishop C four runs into Bishop C four runs into B five. Means I castle. Maybe I'll play knight F three. Knight F three. B five. B five. B five is a swarm. B five. Bishop H six. B five. Okay, so my bishop's on c4. I think I'll play... Is bishop b3? Bishop b3. Rook e8 check. Rook e8 check. Yeah, now bishop e2? Bishop e2. Rook c8. Rook c8. Rook c8. What game is this? A London H game? H takes g3. Rook c8. Rook c8. Okay, so... There's no pawn on... There, there's still a pawn on c7, I think. So I'm trying to remember the position. Black has knights on e7, f6. I have knights on e2, d2. Uh, rook c8. I might as well play, like, queen. Queen b3. Queen b3. Queen b3. Queen b3. I should really check the clock times too. White 11 minutes 30 seconds. Okay. Black 6 minutes 50 seconds. Yeah, the 15 second increment. <clears throat> I don't know if it's enough, but it's enough time currently. So the, the goal, at least with the current Queen position, B3. is B6. to. Wait, what? Queen B3. B6. B6, I'll play rook a c1. Rook a c1. Rook a c1. Yeah, the goal is to squeeze the opponent in the center. And bring another rook to d1, probably. So, shawarma and frenzy lead taking, uh, everyone taking their time, actually. But there's no game where I'm like Queen winning e7. completely. Queen e7. Or winning like really quickly. Queen e7. Which might make things tricky. Bishop e2. Bishop e2. Queen, Queen e7. e7. Okay, so. Uh, that's a meat threat, almost, kind of. I want to take on d5. <laughs> Opponent probably said, oh no, my knight. The knight on d5 is hanging, but I can't take it. Of course, we are taking our time. I know. You still know. have the advantage over us. Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to figure out what to do here. I think I can get away with. Can I get away with castling? Maybe not. I have like queen d1. If I castle, we trail on c3. I lose my thing. I castle queenside. Castle takes, takes, takes. I'm thinking queen c2. It looks really risky, but... I don't quite see anything wrong with it. Queen c2. Queen c2. Queen b7. Queen d7. Rook a c1. Queen b7. Queen d7, I assume. Queen d7. Queen d7, okay. So pawns on b6, rook on c8. Queen on d7, knight on e7, okay. Um... Yeah, I could play f4. e5 is interesting. Maybe I'll play e5, just try and win quickly. e5, bishop e4. Bishop e4.
Bishop e4 in the shawarma game? Bishop e4. Bishop e3. Bishop e4. Bishop e4. Bishop e4. Why do the warships in Norway shush, have QR shush, codes shush, on them? Shush. So they can Scandinavian. Da. <laughs> Oh, where are the pieces? Bishop e4 is such a random move. My queen on my queen's on d2. I need to develop my knight. Maybe I'll play c4. C4. Knight fd5. Knight fd5. E5. Knight f4. Knight fd5. Okay, it makes sense. Queen's on b3. Um, I think I'll play knight e4 now. Knight e4. Knight f6. Knight f6. Queen c2. Knight f6. Queen c2, knight f6. Ah, interesting. So now... Well, knight f6 makes me more comfortable. I think I'll play bishop e3. Bishop e3. Knight f5. Knight f5. Knight f5. This is a, uh, the London game, right? C4. Knight f5. C4. Knight f5. Oh, no, this is a shawarma game. Yeah, knight f5 was possible in uh, two of the positions. Wait, c4, knight, f5. Wow. I'm making things really weird and interesting. I'll play knight c3. Knight c3. Knight e4. Knight e4. Knight e4 is uh, the frenzy Bishop b3. Knight e4. Knight e4. So my knight's pinned. Uh, Yeah, let's just castle. Sippity, 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 T. Bishop takes F3. Bishop takes F3. Bishop takes F3. Do I have a... Where's my thing? Where's my light squared bishop? Is it on E2? No, it's not. I guess I have to take back with my pawn. Wait, what did I do with my light squared bishop? Oh, it's on b3. I think. Green on d2. Okay, yeah, I'm. Ah, I forgot. Forgot black could do that. Uh, Gf3. G takes f3. C6. C6. Ninety four, C six. So ninety four. I think I'll play G. F G four probably. G four. Bishop takes H six. Bishop takes H six. Oh, I really forgot what's going on in this game. Queen H six. Queen takes H six. Knight takes C three. Knight takes c3. Oh no, I messed up. I messed up. Oh. Sippity, sippity. Knight takes c3. Okay, let's at least try and go two out of three. I just blundered my queen. Uh, knight c3, I will. Um. Bc3. B takes c3. Knight takes h6. Yeah. Knight takes oh, h6. I, f I forgot it t like everything that was going on on the king's side. Oh, that's so bad. Where are my pieces? I have a knight on c3. On h3. Oh, no. Eric, you remember to do the queen sack. Yeah, I know, I know, win. I know. Accomplished only one of those so far, Potez Gambit. Now it's time for the win.
of oh, ninety four. I don't know what to do here. Rook a c one. No, let's uh c b five. C takes b five. Bishop a five. Bishop a five. Okay, so this is Frenzy Lee. So I've I've completed development. Um, Knight's still on c6, I believe. Play bishop d3. Bishop d3. Rook c7. Rook c7. Rook c7. G4. Rook c7. The opponent's just kind of playing passively here. Might as well try and attack queen h3. Queen h3. Queen h3. Queen h3. H3. H6. H6. Bishop d3. H6. Bishop d3. H6. Okay. Um, play rook fe1. Rook fe1. Queen g5. Queen g5. C takes b5. Queen g5. Why is it not check? Am I not castle in this game? I thought I already castled, but I guess not. Queen g5. Where are the pieces? I'm tempted to just resign here, but I should fight. Knight's on c3. Bishop on b3. I have a pawn like hanging on e5. Can't castle either way, actually. Might as well take on like, e a6. B takes a6. Rook f c eight. Rook f c eight. Queen h three. Rook f c eight. Yeah, this looks like a more enjoyable position. Play something like uh, g five. Knight g five. Queen d6. Queen d6. Rook f e1. Queen d6. Queen d6. I'll play uh, rook a d1. Rook a d1. Queen g2. Queen g2. B takes a6. Queen g2. Queen g2. Okay. Um, and delay bond cloud. King e2. King e2. Not King my e2. proudest move. H6. H6. Play knight e4. Knight e4. Yeah, so the idea was to play rook h6. Knight e4. Game start. Wait, what? King, King h8. White 6 minutes 16 seconds. Black 3 minutes 20 seconds. Rook a d1. King h8. King h8. Um, ah, I see. Actually, I don't see. Maybe I'll play a uh, queen d2. Wait, where's my thing? Play bishop b5. Try bishop b5. Bishop b5. Knight f5. Knight f5. King e2. Knight f5. Knight f5 is a good move. Um...
I'll play. I really don't want to play this. Rook. Rook. D. Shh, don't say anything. Rook. A. G. One. Rook. A. G. One. Queen. F. Six. Queen. F. Six. Bishop. B. Five. Queen. F. Six. Is this hanging? Um. Bishop. E. Eight. No. Oh, there's knight on C. Six. Queen takes C. Six. Knight. D. Four. Check. Knight. D. Four. Check. Wait, what just happened? Rook. A. G. One. Rook a g one. Knight d four check. Yeah, king. King e three. Queen takes c six. Queen takes c six. Oh yeah, so Bishop queen takes c six. Was pre -moved. Queen takes c six. Um. They like bishop d four. Bishop d four. Queen takes f three check. Queen takes f3 check. King d4. Was d4 defended by something? Oh, there's a black pawn in e5. Wait, what's defending the knight? I don't know what's defending the knight. I thought I had a pawn e5. The king's on e3. I mean, I have to play king d2, but I don't... I don't quite remember what's defending the knight. Your eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Stretch I know. With your feelings. King d2. King d2. Bishop b6. Bishop b6. Bishop d4. Bishop b6. Now I'm struggling in other games too. Bishop d4. Bishop b6. Bishop b6. Things on c6. Where's my other minor piece? Do I have a knight? Knight e5? Knight e5. I do have a knight. C5. Let's go. C5. Knight e4. C5. Okay, so finally c5. The rooks are doubled. Oh, this is going to get spicy. I think I'll play uh, g5. 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 Okay. White four minutes. I'm really six struggling seconds. here. Black one minute 51 seconds. At least I'm off on time. Queen e6. Queen e6. In e6, this is a frenzy league game. Queen e6. Do I have tactics? Smelling tactics. Things on h8. Can I take the thing? This should b6? C takes b6. Queen takes f2 check. Queen takes f2 check. Oh no, my King thing. B2. Queen takes f2 check. Uh, king c1. King c1. C takes b6. C takes b6. Okay, I forgot there was a pawn on c7. So I have a knight on e5. Queen's on e6. Queen on c2. So I'm just up a piece. Uh, maybe I'll play rook e3. Rook e3. Rook e3. Rook e3. White 3 minutes 30. I have so seconds. little time. Black 2 minutes 58 seconds. F5. F5. G5. F5. Oh, it's getting spicy. F5. F5. Uh, EF6. He takes F6. No, I wasn't talking to you, Siri. It's spicy. 3 check. 
King C1. Shush, shush, shush. Queen E3 check. King C1. Queen All the E3 robots check. are talking to me. King C1. Queen E3 check. King B1. King B1. Why can't I move? Queen E3 check. Queen E3 check. King B1. Can I play King B1? Queen E3 check. King C1. Queen E3 check. King B1. There we go. G takes F6. G takes F6. G F6. Rooks on C7. Queen on D7. Uh, E F6. E takes F6. F5. E takes G takes F6. I'm so confused right now. I don't know why I can't play E takes F6. I thought I had a pawn in E5. I take on H6? Queen takes H6. Knight takes B3. Knight takes B3. King B1. Knight takes B3. A B3? A takes B3. Rook A D8. Rook A D8. Rook E3. Rook A D8. Rook A D8. I'm probably going to lose all these games on time. Rook A D8. My queen's on C2. A rook D E one. Rook D E one. Rook takes A six. Rook takes A six. Yeah, there goes my thing. I should probably just resign this game. Knight's on C three. Is there any hope? I think I'm gonna resign and focus on the final two. White resigned. Okay. Knight F five. Knight F five. I'm really confused about this game though. Um, knight f5. Queen g6. Queen g6 check. Queen e7. Queen e7. Rook d e1. Queen e7. Knight g6 check. Check. Queen G seven. Queen G seven. Queen G seven. Knights on E four. Knights on F five. Where's my pawn now? Oops, uh, queen g7. Or can I... Maybe I keep queens on the board. I just don't know where things are. Queen h5. F takes g6. F takes g6. Rook e7. Rook takes e7. Rook takes e7. Rook takes e7. Queen h7. Queen h7. Queen h5. Queen h7. It's an f5. Um, knight f4, I guess. Knight f4. Knight f4. Knight f4. Queen takes h5. Knight takes h5. F takes g5. Oh, there's a thing there. Wait, did I play the wrong? I thought I played G takes F6, not E takes F6. Oh, I played the wrong thing earlier. That's why. Oh, that's unfortunate. Pawn C5. I have G4 here. My thing is hanging. Uh, I might as well. Take. 
Knight takes g5. Knight takes d4. Yeah, that's not good. Where's my rook? I don't know where my rook is. Bishop takes f2 check. Shush, shush, shush. Rook, d, e. I think my rook's on c1. Knight's on d4. I have knights on h5, g5, black has knights on... Can I play rook fe1? Rook fe1. Okay. Well, I prevented knight e2 by accident. That's nice. Rook e7. Rook e7. Rook fe1. Rook e7. Rook e7. Okay, um... So I do here. I play like uh, Rook C D one. What, what happened? We can make a drinking game where Eric says, "Where is my?" Take a shot. I I I I can't type anything. What happened? I can't type anything. I can't type anything. Am I inactive? I have to look. Oh, I opened the council. I also have 13 seconds? What is this? Okay, I took a sneak peek, but I'm in trouble now. Uh, Rook C D1. Rook C D1. There we go. Rook E7. <laughs> Rook, Rook, Rook F8. That. Rook F8. Rook f8, uh, f3? f3. Rook f5. Oh no, one of my knights. Uh, f4? f4. Uh... Knight takes f4. Oh, this is such a struggle. Uh, knight f4? Knight takes f4. Rook takes f4. Play 94. 94. E5. 94. E5. Rook. E3. Rook E3. Did my other opponent resign? E5. Rook E3. I feel like I won the other game. Rook oh. E F7. That was just this game. Rook E F7. I have knight d6. Knight d6. Rook g7. Knight d6. Rook g7. Rook g7. If I take on e5, there's knight f3. That's a good move. Uh, let's play rook d e rook d d three rook d d three rook d d three. Okay, so pawn g two b two a two black has pawns on rook g six e five c five knights hit. I'll play uh, knight c4. Knight c4. I'm hitting the e5 pawn. Rook fg4. F to g4. I'll play g3. g3. Okay, so the rooks are very forkable here. How many pawns am I down? Rook e6. Rook e6. Knight 
play rook e5. Rook takes e5. Eric, make Rook sure you win five. this one. You flagged on the other game. Oh no, I flagged another game. Oh, I don't know. Zero out of three. <laughs> Ninety two check. Ninety two, I'll play King F two. King F two. Rook E four. Knight c7, I guess. Knight c7. Why can't I play knight c7? King f92 check. Knight takes e5. Oh, my knight's on e5. Uh, let's play knight d7. Knight d7. <laughs> oh, man. Knight's on e2. Where's black's king? Rook e7. E7. Can I play Rook D5? Rook D5. Oh, there's no pawn in D5. I thought there was a pawn in D5. Knight D4. Wait, what? Rook D5. Knight D4. Rook takes D4? Rook takes D4. C takes D4. Oh, there was a pawn in C5. Ah, I got confused where the pawn was. Oops. Oh, this isn't good. Knight f6. Knight f6 check. King f7. Knight d5. I'm in trouble here. Who is this? Sir DVD? I think this is Sir DVD. I'm in really big trouble. I was on c5, so I have a2, b2. Rook e5. Play knight f4. Knight f4. King on f2, I think. King on f7. Okay. I'm gonna try and hold this. I was losing, but. Rook c5. Maybe there's an ounce of hope. King F3. King F3. It's clock. Rook C2. White 2 minutes 16 seconds. I have plenty of time. Black 3 minutes 36 seconds. Knight D3. King's on F7? King F6. Okay, so King E4? King E4. I'm trying to remember what happened with the queenside pawns. I can't remember if I have any... I don't think I have any pawns on the king side. Also, I have a G pawn. Do I have a pawn on G3? I think black has A7 and, G, and B6 are the only pawns left. What was that sound? Rook G2. Rook G2. Sound? I don't know if I have a pawn on G4 or not. He went to F6. Um, or G3. I think I should just take on d4 king takes d4 rook takes g3 knight c5 no 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 b There's takes c5 pawn. check ah, i thought it was being tricky i thought for a moment i thought the pawn was still on b7 it's actually still not over though king takes c5 so try and fight He just plundered my king e6 king e6 king c6 
I have a bad King feeling e5. about this. King e5. Yeah, let's try king b7. King b7. Rook g7 check. King a6. King a6. King b4. King d4. B4 first. B4. This isn't good. I miss my knight. I wanted to set up fork tricks. Oh, I, I knew the position too. It's just sudden lapse in uh King C four memory. I'll play B five. B five. Rook G six check. Uh King A five? King A five. I will see my opponent's endgame technique here. What's the clock situation? White 3 minutes 22 seconds. Black 3 minutes 36 seconds. King A5. King A5. Okay, so Pawn has plenty of time. What to do? <laughs> Eric, Rick you G3. have a Windows update that looks like it is going to restart your system. Oh no, system. wait, really? Bottom right of your oh, screen. No. Oh, it's it's okay. I think I see it. King A5. Wait. Rook King A5. Rook G3. Rook G3. Rook G3. Play A4. A4. That would be bad though if it restarted. Let me um let me just click. Cancel. Rook A3. Yeah, and I I'm gonna resign here because uh I'm in Zug's Vaughn. There's no moves. White resigned. Black is victorious. Ah, GG. Rook A3. Yeah, there's no stalemate tricks, unfortunately. I'm just losing the pawns. Good game. My opponent's competition was too strong. Ah, I flagged this game. E4. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, maybe I didn't give myself enough time. Or maybe I was too slow. I hope people enjoy that though. Wait. Oh, one win. Oh, someone told me I flagged this game, but I didn't. Oh, I had one win. Oh. What a fun <laughs> set of games. Thank you so much for the similaric. Yeah, it didn't tell me that I won. Because when the opponent resigns, it just doesn't go back to the game. Thank you, Shwarma. Oh, thank you, Frenzy Lee. Thank you, Rose and Number Generator, for this wonderful game. Having a G90 oh, oh, cool. slash D5 tournament on Saturday, mm. and you pointed out a huge hole in my two move prep against 1C3, <laughs> GG, and also, Quack. I think you mean 1C4, the English opening. Yeah, not too many people will play this sort of thing. Uh,. I mean, I went for an ortho schnapp. Never seen that f6 before. The best move is to take. And then if ortho schnapp, knight f6 is a solid move. You can also take and accept the gambit. Um, it got tricky though. Knight f3 apparently is a blunder because yeah, black gets compensation along the e-file. 
I played queen c2. An opponent left, let me off the hook. Hey, thank you, Mammon, gifting five. So the best move was to take. I would have taken back with the... Oh. Oh, the bishop's hanging. Wait, what? Wait. No, I would have taken back with the bishop here. Ah, knight. Okay, there's knight of four, but there's also knight db4. How does this work? Oh, the queen's tied down to the bishop. And if queen d2, there's rook a d8. I could have been in massive trouble this game. Yeah, I won the piece, but I was very slow to develop. But then, okay. I think this is one game I, I kept track of the position for the most part. Like, I saw the discovery. Um, I just forgot that I had a knight, and then I remembered. <laughs> and then I found the discovery. Uh, the shawarma game. Shawarma walked into a classic Ponziani opening trap. Took the, the poison pawn. I won the thing. And then somehow I forgot that uh, my bishop and queen were aligned like this. I think I was still envisioning my bishop on e3. I should take. And then after takes, I was really thrown off here. Yeah, queen h6 was like the automatic recapture for getting the knight controlled h6. And then I was hopeful to trap the queen here. Ah, black did have a pawn on e5. I don't know why I was envisioning my pawn on e5. Makes no sense. Yeah, this position is very resignable because this move is coming. And then Sir Divadi. Yeah, outclass me in this endgame. It was a good game, though. It was a good fight. Yeah, so here I meant to take with the G-pawn. But I guess I typed... I typed E takes F6. And then later I was wondering why I couldn't take back with the pawn. Because I was envisioning this position. And then I just got really confused. And didn't realize my pawn was still on g5. Until here. And then... Yeah, around here is where, like... I've, the, I opened the council by, or console by accident. So I was down two pawns. Yeah, I missed too many things in this game. I forgot the, I forgot the pawn defended the knight. And then later... So I did have a pawn on g3. Yeah, I really wanted to play this move. Trying to bait this and then fork. The problem is there's rook takes b2. And then when I played knight c5, I still thought the pawn was on b7, even though I knew it was on b6. What to do? Well, thanks everyone for watching, tuning in. Thank you to Bizarre Clay, five month sub. Um, yeah, it is kind of mentally exhausting to play just any any sort of blindfold chess. It takes way more energy, but it was fun. Good job to those who were correct with their prediction. Maybe some people doubled their channel points. I think I'm going to wrap things up. I'll save Babel for some time in the future. But if you do want more content, I do have a new... YouTube video released. Released it actually shortly before the stream where I recap my my round seven game from the Dubai Rapid Tournament. So thank you so much for all of the YouTube content. It's oh, given you. me a ton of happiness in some hard times. You're the best. Oh, thanks for that, Jalapeno Hubbers.
Yeah, that's the goal is to, to bring some happiness to people and some education. Okay, so just updated the, the, the new vid command. Yeah, I do need some rest. It's been a long, long day. Oh, thank you, Bizarre Clay. Gifting five. Appreciate that. Yeah, thanks again uh, to my opponents for the game. See Frenzy Lee still in the chat. And Shorma and Sir DVD. Maybe I'll do... At some point I'll do like a normal simul. Just so I can play more games. Get more people involved. Anyway, um, I am wrapping things up. Thank you, one up dog. Yeah, I appreciate all the support. Even during the blindfold simul too. I know there are some, <laughs> some cheers, some donos, some distractions. Okay, I'll send the raid to a legend, a prophet, monster of a grandmaster, the one and only Daniel Naroditsky. He's doing some evening chess. So send some good vibes to Danya. And, ooh, can we get to 700? We're close. 688, 690. Let's get to 699. Hey, 700. Let's go. Okay, thanks everyone. I'll be back in the near future. Stay tuned and goodbye.